graph theory question from 2009 is a short question and it covers the basics of uh, working with graphs and in particular the degree sequence Give a gra given a graph G has degree sequence 4 3 3 2 1 1 how many vertices are there in G how many items are here 1 2 3 4 5 6 there are six vertices in graph G the second part is find the number of edges in G explaining how you obtained the answer. Okay, let's uh, first off, well essentially what we're going to do is we are going to sum up the degree sequence 4 plus 3 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 plus 1 so that is equal to 14. So the sum of the degree sequence divided by 2, number of edges is 14 divided by 2 that's equal to 7 so there are seven edges in all so this is not asked for but I'm just going to do it as a quick exercise let's draw out the graph so this is going to be we'll start off with a uh, uh, vertex with the highest degree sequence 4 now let's just make uh, see if we can have let's make this one a three so hang on a sec just like four let's add those two together sorry we're putting the edges in blue and we'll have another one coming out of those okay So, no, we have too many edges now. Hang on a sec. I'll get rid of that. Too many vertices. So, four. This one has, currently has degree two. This currently has degree three. And this is degree one. So, we need another vertex of degree one. So, we'll leave that alone. Now, what we need is another vertex of degree 3 and a vertex of degree 2. And what happens if we add these two together here? This becomes a vertex of degree 3 and this is a vertex of degree 2. That's it. That's our job done. So it's, it, that's how we would draw out the graph. So candy to know. The thing is, what about that question is, you might you might sort of get a trick question and sort of say, is this graph simple? So that's why you have to double check that. Okay. Draw an example of a simple graph with the following degree sequence. So I've just gone and done it there a second ago. So it's just like the uh, example I've done there previously in the last example. Next question, say why it is not possible to construct a simple graph. Underline that with the following degree sequence. Well, let's give it a go here for a second. So, 4. So, this is the four vertices. And we'll just start off by adding the... <coughs> we have one in the center here. This is going to be the the uh, vertex that corresponds to 4 okay but the thing is for, for, for we need to add in another edge there somewhere so we'll have to add it in here let's say okay now all of a sudden it's not a simple graph that's the thing not simple anymore there are two edges between this vertex here and this vertex here, so it's not simple anymore. Just to finish off the graph, actually, we could add those two together as well, or um, link those two. Uh, it has the correct degree sequence. Now, it's just it's not a simple graph. Why is it not possible? There are two edges between four and, and one. There's two edges here between two vertices, and that contradicts it. Show why it is possible to construct a... Uh, okay, so essentially I've just drawn it down there. Show it is possible to construct a, a graph with this degree sequence if we do not require it to be simple. So it doesn't have to be simple. So, 
that's that one there. Okay, so that's enough. Uh, we'll end this presentation here.